Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Pokesu Channel or, or eBay, wherever you happen to be seeing this. I'm actually selling this on Pokesu Channel. It's being exposed. Over 2 million people, have, almost 2 million people have viewed my Pokesu Channel now, and I'm getting about 30,000 views a month. So, you know, if you like this guitar, uh, I suggest you buy it while it's available. But I'm exposing it on eBay as well as Pokesu Channel. And feel free to call me. I don't hide behind my ads. That's one of the reasons people like to deal with me because I, I don't hide. I have my phone number right out there. You can call me, you can talk to me on the phone. I don't mind. You know, guitars and music is my passion in life. I'm very involved. You can go to vintageguitar.com, put in Steve Zook, read the review of my CD. The guy that wrote the review, Mr. Steven Stone, even mentions he's bought guitars from me. I'm a good guy to buy from because I have a lot of experience. I'm 62, I've been doing this for probably around 40 years as well as being involved in music in many different ways. Uh, I also own a bit of the Speed Pick and the Zookies, as marketed by Dunlap Guitar Accessory Company. I've got a letter on my wall from Mr. Les Paul, who wrote me a letter. I don't know if you can see that. He wrote me a letter um, saying he tried the Speed Pick and it's very good. I'm very involved in the music business, folks. I'm a real composer. I'm a good guy to buy from. This is a great guitar. I just recently got this, and uh, it really, really has a nice sound. The pickups. What you have to understand about guitars, especially if you don't have a lot of experience, you can't always judge a guitar by the price. Just because a guitar is, is three grand doesn't mean it's necessarily a lot better than a guitar for a lot less money because guitars vary greatly from guitar to guitar depending on the wood, the pickups, how the wood was dried, lots of variables involved. If you can find a good dot deluxe custom shop like this, they're really nice guitars. They have a lot of bloom. I have students that have 335s, Gibsons. This one sounds just as good, probably better. There's more bloom to the tone. It's even Chet Atkins said every guitar is a little bit different, so it's not BS. Now I just put new strings on this, so uh, it's going to stretch. But this guitar really sounds sweet, man. It has a beautiful sound. Uh, it sounds good for clean or jazz, whatever you want to do. And just so you know, I'm using a solid state amp, no tube. Hey, let's do, let's do cycle one in the guitar ladder system. I'll throw you in a couple samples of the guitar ladder system for free with this guitar too. I'm also going to throw in uh, with this guitar some free picks and like a guitar strap and you get a nice a nice case I'm not sure if you can see that you get a nice Epiphone case which is not a cheap case I think this case is they're about 150 170 something like that so you're going to get a nice case with this guitar it's very very sturdy you get that for free a lot of guys would charge more for that it's a lot better than like an SKB case or something anyway this is a really nice guitar and uh, like I said, feel free to call me. I'm not hiding behind my ads. Like a lot of people that advertise on eBay, they're kind of hiding behind their ads. You can call them. Go ahead and call me. I don't mind. I talk to people every day. Now here's a little bit more. guitar sounds really good as you can hear It's a great guitar, man. So if you could use a guitar that covers a lot of musical ground, you don't want to spend a ton of money. And, and seriously, I had a, I have a friend who uh, used to work for Gibson. He retired and uh, really sharp guy. 
And he was, and this is true with almost any guitar manufacturer. Sometimes they'll pull a little bit better parts, a little bit better magnets. If they're low on one thing, they'll grab something else. These pickups sound amazing. And, and like I said, I'm using a solid state amp as well. So there's a lot of, you know, in a lot of ways, a great 335. And, and this is the custom shop one. And some of the pickups make the, make some of the stuff kind of show up a little bit more like where this sticker was and stuff. But it's a great guitar. It's, it's got one little ding here in the back of the neck, no big deal. But this is a gorgeous guitar. It's got absolutely gorgeous flame. It sounds amazing. I spent a long time setting up uh, the guitar. And it's just get all, gets all kinds of sounds. Like I said, this is, this is kind of a bluesy sound here. This is more distortion here. It just really has a tone, folks, you know. You can even hear the tone on the overdrive. It just has a certain clarity, a certain musicality. Musical is the best way to describe the tone. Kind of a certain singing quality to it. That's the, that's the best way I can describe it. But yeah, this is a nice one, man. And uh, like I said, you get the nice case. And I'll throw you in um, some, some free guitar, a couple free guitar ladder pro assistant things as well. That, this was cycle one. Then we add the shading. But yeah, if you could use a great three thirty five. sound so uh, I'm, I'm just having fun playing it if I just put some new strings so it is stretching a little bit I love how it sounds on clean or overdrive see it's got that singing that's good sustain man that's really nice sustain that it's got there I'm just having fun. I'm barely, I'm barely warmed up, but I'm just having fun playing this. So, uh, great guitar so I'm gonna stop and if you're interested you can uh, these strings need to stretch out a little bit but yeah it's a great guitar and um, you know it's a lot of guitar for the money and like I said, I don't hide behind my ads like a lot of people that sell online. So if you want to call me, maybe you've never bought something online or whatever, call me. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to try to slam dunk you. I'm just going to talk to you. You know, most people, when they talk to me on the phone, they realize I'm a good guy or they go to VintageGuitar.com, put in Steve Zook, read the review of my CD. 
find out the great writer, Mr. Stephen Stone, who writes for Audio File, Spin Magazine, Vintage Guitar. He's a guitar collector. He's a recording engineer. Really, really smart guy. And I, I think I mentioned guitar collector. He even mentions in, mentions in the write-up of my original CD, Transporter, that he's bought in guitars for me. I'm a, I'm a good guy to deal with, folks. Okay? So, okay. Yeah, this guitar is very musical. What a great tone. And I'm using a, a solid state PV from the 80s. I paid 150 bucks for it. See, it's got that singy. It's got a singing kind of a sing quality to it that on overdrive. And usually overdrive is kind of a, reveals weaknesses in guitars. And this guitar overdrive uh, shows strengths of the guitar. But then it's got a beautiful, clean sound, which you can use for anything. Really nice box. I wouldn't mind keeping it, but I've got plenty of guitars. So like I said, these these strings are stretching it. So uh, I just put these strings on about an hour and a half ago, and I haven't stretched them out. So, but this has really good tuners. It has the Grover tuners, which are really really good tuners. There's a lot of guitar for the money, folks. It's one of the nicest tops. It just this guitar sounds amazing. I can always tell a great guitar because I have trouble stop. You know, I have trouble you know putting it down. And I can always tell a great guitar too because I like playing it. I like playing it on the. Uh, I like playing it on the treble pickup as well. Anyway, so yeah, feel free if you you know if you're looking for a great guitar and you don't want to spend a ton of money, you really can't go wrong with this one. Uh, the guitar looks good; it does have a ding in the back of the neck, no big deal, it doesn't hurt anything. Like I said, this this one really has a mojo, and it's it's not BS, folks. Even Chet Atkins said every guitar is a little bit different. You ask any real player who's been playing for 30 years, he'll tell you that's one in a hundred or one in 200 guitars really has the mojo, and that's the way I run my guitar business. Like I said, I'm involved in the music business on many different levels. Um, but, you know, I don't just go out there and buy the cheapest. I have to love a guitar. I have to love a guitar or I don't buy it for my inventory. And that's really true. And I don't make a fortune on this stuff, folks. I make a little something, but it's it's no big deal. It's, it's more just kind of fun. I get to play them for a while. Sometimes I take guitars in on trade for studio time or mastering time at my studio. So, But it's just more of something fun that I've been doing since I was about 17. I just enjoy it. Every once in a while, I get a little lucky and actually get something that you know, um, you know, at a price where I can make you know a decent amount of money. But most of the time, I just make a little something, and I'm cool with that, you know. So anyway, take care. If you use a great guitar, you'll love this one. If you want to call me, feel free. Seven one four five four eight zero three eight five. Take care. Bye bye. Keep the faith.